it's been such a long time. Like when it's more than a couple days in between streams, sometimes it honestly feels a little bit weird to hit that button, but I hit it. I'm gonna do the thing after we do the other things. The tweet thing, the Discord thing, and the uh, invitation thing for you in the future on YouTube to come join me and everybody else over at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP where these live streams happen and um, I do like I did have some time to pull some colors things are hectic and busy and kind of shitty honestly but we're gonna have some color therapy things are gonna be good Bean, Bean's gonna take care of his business and uh Oh no, why isn't this working? Streamlabs, please. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I was trying to tell me there were no recent events, and I know that is a lie. Mm -hmm. My mug fits right into the color scheme, especially like with this. <laughs> mm, it's a match! That's actually kind of great. What is this? Fireside Glow. Except it's you know hollow so I've got like a bunch of china glazes pulled out I'm not quite sure if I'm actually going super Halloween or if I'm going more fall high sun um I think I'm gonna start with swatches and see like what catches my eye what I think will work good together and then maybe go from there hey amethyst yeah lots of orange a little bit of like yellow and gold a little bit of like bronze and brown yeah and somewhere I'm like I don't know if this really is necessarily suitable to a water marble and um hopefully we'll be able to get this all done without like interruptions because I don't know just having some scheduling issues and uh that's partly why I'm late but we're here now a lot of these I thought I was shaking them as I was pulling them out the china glaze drawers are fairly accessible. They're more accessible than they were before. So I decided to go in there. So I, was, I don't know. I pulled out the glow in the dark. I didn't know that we really need to use this. I'm not actually sure if I ever tested it to see how glow in the dark it is. I need to remember to stay back here until the sun moves like a couple more inches because otherwise we're going to get like really bright. Okay, so some of these. Tonight is race night. I'm tentatively planning to participate if my if I can if I can do so plus depending on how late this stream goes okay so I'm just going to give these all like a little bit of a shake which is super super fascinating stream I'm sure <laughs> but just so I well probably I'll still have to shake some of them more later because some of them are more separated than others china glaze I have a lot of old china glazes like china glaze is one of the first salon type of a brands that I really started collecting I guess hey calico enjoy your bedtime work yeah I feel they feel Halloween and they feel fall I think the final combination is gonna determine whether it's whether it's fall or whether it's Halloween. Basinji, thank you for the host. I think one of, one of the emotes that I'm fairly certain I do want to go with is a little polish lurk. A little polish bottle lurking when I get moon banded to do my emotes. Thank you, Amethyst. This is a really, like... Like this is all everything you think about when you think about like a fall nail polish. Camera, could you, could you, could you, could you, could you, there we go. Like it's very shimmery. Mm, where, in fact, where are my, I should have that up. Um, I don't have the camera controls up in order to be able to zoom in for you lovely people. Um, probably, we'll see, hold on, 
Mm. Oh, come on. Come on, camera. I know you want to. I could, I could feel your desire to focus. I could feel your desire to focus, camera. You can, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. It's all ready. Okay. Um. I'm like, I don't want, if I add yellow, I don't want it to start leaning candy corn necessarily. So I'm leaning with probably black instead of white, which would make it lean also, I think, more Halloween than fall. Um, the This beautiful one I was showing off is a Harvest Moon camera. Yeah, I, I like that quite a lot. Pastels in the Halloween section. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I should know what collection it's from. And it's just not coming to me at all. Like some, some I definitely like remember collections of. I guess it just depends. So... Like we've got some like deeper orange. This what is this? I don't even know if that counts as a orange. We got like a brown. We got like a gold. We got like some yellows and yellowier golds. Like darker oranges. I might should zoom out again. Zoom, zoom out. Um. We've got like lighter oranges. Brighter oranges some glitterier colors and then we've got like some whites and blacks and the glow so should I, should I make another row of this here I feel like I'm not uh, uh. this should be the go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by this, aren't I? <laughs> the noise in the house is pissing you off. That's unfortunate, Amethyst. Like that. See, this this particular glitter, I can't decide where to put it because it actually has like orange and gold glitter in it. Camera. Camera. Please, camera. Camera. It like will do it for just a split second. So it's like it could go in the oranges. It could go kind of like in the gold somewhere. I think it should go kind of like here. Does that work? This one is weird and it's also it's like not this color in the bottle. It's this color in the bottle. So I'm trying to keep that in mind when kind of sorting it around too. Mm. If I do like this. Yeah, some of these bottles are really gnarly looking. Oof, two or three AM is a lot of hours. That's like already up for twelve hours, and twelve hours is a lot of hours. I don't understand people can like stay up 24 hours and still be like actually functional. I think I would be a wreck. I don't know if I could even manage to do it. So yeah, some of these you have to really pay attention. This is actually not as gold as it looks. See the color up at the neck here? Oh wait, maybe it is gold. What color is this? I was thinking it was going to be this color you see on the neck here. Oh, come on, camera. You can kind of see how it's a little bit different there. 
but it actually okay it actually is this gold well where is that little color coming from then no it just stays there oh. see this is where how many times do i say this swatch sticks would come so in handy does this really belong down there i guess it does it's more of a yellowy gold than like an orangey gold okay so i think i we need to swatch all of these um see what we kind of think about that if there are any that we do not think are going to water marble or play nicely um and then go from there <laughs> so, i mean some of these look very similar on camera like these three or these yellows some of these are like very similar colors but different finishes um okay so let's whoa, do like that and whoa like that gotta make room for the notepad the sketchbook okay what is today the 28th the month is almost over you guys okay needs to do man i should i suppose if i were like a, a responsible youtuber i'd also check like the uh what you call the trending to see if fall or autumn or halloween is more trending i would i would guess halloween is though wouldn't you oh no amethyst <laughs> those dip nails i don't know do you feel like they're helpful or do you feel like they're more trouble than they're worth or is it one of those kind of like uh like ready for takeoff some days i feel like oh no it's wonderful and other days i feel like why am i doing this so this is one of the ones with a quite <clears throat> discolored bottle this is oh my god the amount of beanie fur that gets stuck around the label edges i'm sorry you guys but a lot of y'all are pet owners you understand you just can't help it this is uh goldie but goody see the camera is so polite for that why can't it be polite all the time caffeine ooh taco bell mm. we can't start talking about food already i've got a long time to go till my dinner break mm. there you go super shiny kind of a warm gold formula wise not optimistic would be my initial assessment but not um anything that we need to initially throw out yeah my na my nails are just my nails have been naked since monday you guys so the uh the zigzags wore like shit they wore like shit they were just like literally popping off left and right and i was like i can't i can't take it anymore they have to go and uh you know i intended to do a stream and then things just got hectic and it didn't happen and so i mean they just i feel like they just look so rough right now they could be worse but i've had a bunch of other little like nicks and snags not like breaks but like ugh, my nail type of situations um moving on to this one it's actually got little tiny silver glitters in it there you go uh this is champagne bubbles I suppose even the thinness of the nails could partially lead to when it pops up though it's like it has to really get a good adhesion to be able to stay on to give it the benefits this feels thin like not super opaque 
I also kind of would classify it as not optimistic for water marbling, but also not ruling it out. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, yellow cream. Just a yellow cream. Happy go lucky. This I may have water marbled with before. Like there's there's a there's two that come to mind that may have used that yellow cream. Um this actually has it's a very similar shade of yellow, but they're actually perfect camera. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So uh this is solar power. So depending on what other colors I go with, I like that I kind of have two that are very close to each other, but with different finishes. Yeah, see this in the swatch. Even in person, I can barely tell the difference. But I'm sure with top coat, it would come out more. I don't know that I've marbled with this before. So I mean, it makes me lean toward the cream yellow a little more just for the sake of that. But there's no reason we can't like do some testing and stuff so i mean gotta gotta figure it out i'm I'm gonna go into it any that i don't like immediately eliminate for having weird formulas um i'm just gonna go strictly by like what colors i feel like are looking promising together and see if they work God, do you guys want me to close the window is this super distracting it the angle is such that it actually is not completely going in my eyeball but I mean, it does look a little bit weird. <clears throat> okay, this is a very, like, this is like a super sparkly shimmer. This is Lighthouse. And even though this is like a sparklier polish, I kind of think I might have marbled with this before. It's, it's more on the sheer side which like, as far as like base, base color considerations. I mean, if I'm doing mostly yellows and oranges and then like a little bit of black, I probably don't want to go black as a base color anyway. But even if I were to go with like an orange base color, this would read a lot different than it would over say itself or over white. Um, so... <clears throat> this is like a lightish peach orange cream very discolored bottle kind of weird it's more like the color that's showing up at the neck this is peachy keen camera camera there we go At least I think it's more than that color. That one surprised me. It's actually a little bit, it's, it's there. See, like in the actual neck, it's actually even a little bit lighter and different than both of those, different than I expected. Not like drastically, but kind of nice formula probably would marble i mean creams i would always say are like a good starting point for water marbling they're more likely to work they're not guaranteed nothing is guaranteed when and water marbling now this looks like super similar in the bottle so peachy keen oh darker it looks it looks very similar to the stained portion of peachy keen this is, uh, if in doubt, surf it out. <laughs> Must be from this. Was there a surf sub collection? The formula, I think, feels thinner. Because, like, I can see more of the brush. And it just feels, like, drippier. Less opaque, definitely. Warm, warmer orangey peach. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Crotron. Fifth, holy crap, 15 months. Hi, Doc. 
September is almost over. I hope it's actually almost over and it doesn't turn into Sucktober. But I, be I believe that it's that it's on a timeline. And by that timeline, I hope that you are free to rejoin the world of Twitch soon. No, no Sucktober. I think everybody's had enough of everything sucking. There's been no good sucking going around anywhere. How you hanging in there, Doc? Um, this, I don't know what color to expect from this. It's very pink at the neck. It's kind of dirty at the bottom compared to the last two. Still looks pinker. This is just V. I miss you, Dr. Crotron. See, there's like this very pink ring around the neck, but it's not actually pink at all. It's actually darker than the bottle. Like, that's so weird. Look at the stem and the neck and then like the bottle, even like the stained portions. God, my hands are super shaky. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Let me try and shake it out a little bit. A golf ball from the from the having your wisdom teeth out are they start do you feel like they're starting to get swelly or weird I feel like this is more salmon also thinner like the peachy keen one I feel like had the nicest formula this one feels a little bit more Halloweeny or fall because this one just feels like a little bit pink I think I don't remember having too much problems with mine, but I remember like I have very small veins and the anesthesiologist had trouble getting the IV into me. So I was very distracted by the pain in my, in my elbows, like in the joint of my elbow where they were trying to get the IV in cause they failed so many times and they just like fucked up my whole elbow. Mm. Is this the color we want to do this in? Maybe something more like this. I don't know if that's better. It's fine. Remember sleeping on the por on the couch on the porch for quite a while. This is like a a brighter. It's like not a neon orange. In fact, I didn't pull out any neon orange because I didn't. Was I like intentionally leaning not neon, or did I not see any neons in there? I mean, this is very bright. Brighter than that camera's picking it up, actually. Yeah like a little bit more like this um none of your risky business um i lost my train of thought <laughs> not gonna lie not gonna lie that feels very halloween not necessarily fall but maybe in conjunction with other colors it could add a bit of brightness to a fall manicure like you can see, it's obviously the brightest thing on the page so far. And then we've got this also quite bright. This is a little more yellow leaning though. Uh, sun worshiper. This is supposed to be neon. I mean, it's bright. <sighs> My, well, let's also see how it paints out. Sun Worshipper. Whoa, you're kind of chunky in there, buddy. And with all these, look at them. <laughs> Let me give this another better shake. I feel like this is supposed to be more neon. I might be misremembering. This polish is quite old if it's from the collection that I think it is. I know it's like Earthquake. I'm sorry. It's not a real Earthquake. I'm just shaking the bottle really hard. Hey, Daikini. The formula is doing weird things. It's lumpy in here. Yeah, see these like chunks? I mean, this is an old polish, but I didn't expect it to be like, does it paint like shit too? Yeah, look at these chunks. Hmm. Well, actually they stroke out. The chunks 
stroke out. That's and that that's a sentence. If I use that, I would want to give it extensive additional shaking. Brightness isn't fully coming across on camera. I d I don't know if it's worth using that one. Oh, hanging in there, Daikini. I have the feeling that like nobody's actually doing too great, but we're all just gonna distract ourselves with nail polish. Ooh, this is like a very fall pumpkiny color. Somebody is mowing their lawn. I apologize if you guys can hear that. Camera's not quite camera. like that's a little closer that's closest for that one it's picking it up much too red here like it's a shit did I even show you which one that was wait a minute is this what I just used papaya punch <gasps> What collection is this from? I feel like this didn't quite used to be this color either, but I'm, I don't trust my, my, my memory for sure on this one. I may just be thinking of a different color for this one. Hey, Angie. Did I say hi, Angie? I think I might have. I am, I am not sleep deprived exactly, but I am just exhausted with everything that's been going on. Um, That's the one I just put down. And then this one, I think... I mean, going by the bottle, it looks like it could be a dupe to that. Um, and this is stoked to be soaked, but I don't think it actually, I think we're going to see, look at the neck is a different color. And then this is a different color again. It's, it's gone back peachy, peachier. This one is definitely more fall. Whoa. Okay. Um, okay. That's good to hear, Angie. I'm glad somebody's doing well. And I mean, I mean, to be absolutely fair, I could be doing worse. And I'm aware of that, but it doesn't help me from being like, just fuck, you know? second day off this month oh my god doc well i'm glad to hear it i hope you have a lovely relaxing day off this is very sparkly i didn't give you guys a bottle shot of this at all i'm so bad i'm sorry okay this one is brighter shinier shimmerier it's got like a golden undertone this is uh riveting it has some okay see this little piece of polish stuck here i feel like i may know what manicure that actually is from and that feels like maybe i'm a crazy person Yeah, well, when you're tired too, Dr. Crotron, I mean, even just like mentally tired after a busy day, sometimes it's hard to get in that streaming mindset. I don't I don't know if I'm going to do race night tonight, both because I'm not sure exactly my schedule and I'm not sure if I'm if I'm up to it. I kind of would like to. Oh, hell yeah. A visit to the salon. I'll always get that feeling. Okay, we just like almost dislodged a braid here from my braid ponytail <laughs> I know the feeling too kind of doc I mean not exactly the same but I actually haven't streamed since last weekend and it feels super 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 weird hey Wesker um this is a more shimmery and kind of leaning 
say it's kind of between an orange and a bronze. Like it seems to lean more bronze to me because it is more of a metallic finish. This is cruising. And then I think all the ones after this kind of move more and more into like bronzy and brown. Thin. Thin formula. Not necessarily a bad thing. Just again, like I said with the other one, which one was the other one? Probably this one. Gotta watch the base color because it may just get washed out and weird. <laughs> um this this one actually i would say maybe a little bit more copper than bronze and then again with like a strong golden shimmer to it uh yeehaw is the name of this polish i'm sorry all this sunshine i mean it's wonderful that it's sunny it's chilly but sunny it's like one of those days when it actually is really really nice to sit in the sun another one with kind of a thinner formula kind of similar finish to the to the one I just did but leaning more it's like orangier and this one's like pinker pretty subtle on camera I mean pretty pretty subtle in person too but even more subtle on camera Yeah, I think last night the low was 44, so a little bit, a little bit chilly. This is the one I was saying is a combination of uh, like gold and red or orange glitter. And the camera still just is refusing to cooperate. I heard that camera. Camera, why, why are you trying to focus on the back? Look at that little swatch there is in perfect focus. Can we focus on what is on the majority of the screen, please, camera? <laughs> don't move. Don't move. Okay. Can, can you observe through this little rim we have how there's gold and red? Because <laughs> I don't think it's going to let me turn it. Why, camera, do you hate glitter? why <laughs> every other one has been fine <clears throat> anyway I am skeptical of this one because it's so glittery I feel like it's very 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 unlikely it would marble but maybe I mean I've been surprised before I will never like a hundred percent rule out a polish, but I'd put that in the probably not category. I would accept it. I mean, for most of these it's behaving. Okay. Now it's going to prove me wrong just to, just to be an ass. It's the glitters that it doesn't like. This is actually like a bar glitter. Do I have any non glitters left? See, it can do it. Just something about glitters. <gasps> Don't move. Observe the bar glitter. It's kind of hard. It's not super shiny. It's also like some gold glitter in there. I think I see it shimmering. Hey, Ginger. Pumpkin innards. Uh, it's called Flying South. Yeah. This I probably will completely rule out. Because it's just so sparse. Can you guys see? It's weird, too like kind of barfy looking 
kind of barfy looking. Yeah, no, I think we have our first reject, everybody. <laughs> yeah, maybe with the sponge. Yeah, but as far as today, no, I think that's our first reject. <laughs> hmm. Okay, moving along from that, um, this is the one at the very beginning of my stream, I think I said, matched my, my mug. Um, this is Fireside Glow. Oh, come on. Um, and it's hollow. I wonder if I can get any hollow to pop on it there yeah there we go well for a second there we went yeah so this is a very pretty one green apple seltzer I've never heard I mean like oh I'm assuming it's like unsweetened since it's seltzer that was your favorite one, Wesker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Yeah. Sparse or glitter. Probably not a water marbler. But. Never say never. It's just always so weird. Like you expect it to be tasty. And then it's just like. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. This is a really stained bottle. I think it's going to be more like up here. This is, uh, Digital Dawn. Is this maybe Tronica? Is this hollow? I, I don't know. Uh, Tronica collection was the collection that could have been so fucking badass if China Glaze had just, like gone for it like they try to be hollow but they're just fucking not quite I, I can't tell I can't tell you that this is hollow but I can tell you that, that it's almost hollow and if you have a lot of nail polish you know exactly what I mean Caritha hello um this this is another like super super fall one Ooh, and it's another one that the camera hates this is uh, Harvest Moon that we were looking at at the beginning of stream. Come on, focus camera, focus. Focus on the label camera. Now focus on the bottle camera. Oh yeah. Like that. Ah. And I would very much like to use this one. It's just so fall. Super, super fall. <laughs> and then this one is like just even deeper. It's like brown going my way, but shimmery brown, like interesting brown, at least in the bottle thin could maybe benefit and warm up from like an orange base and then okay I need to investigate these I got three bottles of liquid leather that I found I need to see what's what I think this one is the one that's one coat yeah that's really black then there's this one, which I think is good, but maybe not as good. Close, also very dark. Not quite as opaque. Probably doesn't show up on camera, but like at the edges, like slightly more sheer. And then this one, I think this one's maybe almost empty. Or is this the one that's just really sheer? Oh my god, yeah. C 
see how sheer that third one is? These are all China Glaze liquid leather. The first two are good. The third one is not, but might work better for a water marble in some cases. I don't 100% hate sheer black, so I just, you gotta know what you're working with. And then the whites, we have white out, and then we have two white on whites, I think. <laughs> hey LJ we are doing either a Halloween or like autumn water marble testing it's, it's I, this is more just for me I'm sorry you guys aren't going to be able to see much here because I'm doing white polish on white paper and I'm kind of just looking at how it's like at how the formula is And how white it actually is. White out, or white on white is actually whiter than white out. At least, like in this comparison. Harder to tell on the bottle. Can you tell on paper? It's whiter and it's a little bit more opaque. And then I got another bottle of white on white. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. really thick also just like a little bit yellower are you just aged you just a little bit older so mainly i'm looking at how white they are and what the formula just like feels like i don't know what the verb is for that mm. hmm So what if we try this? 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 And this? I know it looks bright the uh the gold but it's the sheer one so with either one of these as the base so we'll do two tests one with the orange base and one with the bronze base yeah yeah the consistency hey cow it is indeed a happy cat today, and we do indeed have a happy cat. I can't really. There's a there's a pole there. You're not in perfect viewing position anymore, Bainey. <laughs> can't be bothered to move. All right, so we'll swatch out some orange on this side. And we'll swatch out some bronze on this side. Uh, not completely. Still doing a medicine. And, uh, I mean, he, he seems okay. He was out hunting outside today and he was catching, catching things. So he doesn't seem bothered by it. But I can still, like when I pull back his eyelid, I can still see where it is. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it and hopefully it'll you know not get any worse and improve until it's not so like it looks like like a cloudy spot with like a little point kind of in the center like it's not like completely symmetrical or anything but at least it seems to be more like his his previous times now like his pupils are staying the same size so that's uh that's a bonus all right let's get a cup <clears throat> let's uh just scoot all this back a bit 
move these over here and grab a napkin. Uh, I don't like that one. Uh, this one's super dirty. Oh well. It's just for testing. Testing purposes. Um, it's not sharp enough. Where's my file? <laughs> Sometimes they'll do that, but I mean, they'll never let you know that it wasn't intentional. <laughs> okay. I'm um, gonna need to move this down here. Maybe grab another. God, now there's like a super loud fucking bird outside. Can you guys hear him? <laughs> he got an injury and his pupils were actually like different sizes. Like drastically. So there's a picture. I don't know when was that. It was right after I got back into town, I think. So a couple weeks ago or a week ago or I don't know whenever the fuck that was. Um, and had to take him into the emergency vet and get some ointment to put in his eyeball which they had only prescribed for like a week but then like it wasn't better in a week and previously when I've had to do it I've had to do it with much longer so okay um, probably when we do this we've got the two sides prepped Um, the orange and the bronze, orange, orange, and bronze, bronze. <laughs> um, so one, I will, like, I think I want to keep these in kind of like an ombre order, but I will test one direction and then the other for the two tests. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay, got some acetone at the ready. <laughs> it's pretty close, close to both. Okay, let's just finish my tea so I quit looking for it while I'm while I'm marbling. Oh, it was like already way closer to being gone than I ever even knew. Rip. Um, okay. Do you guys want to be able to see the bottles while I'm working? Oops. Oops, oops. No, not that button. Wrong button. Okay. Okay. Um this button this button like like that <clears throat> oh no <laughs> moving everything around no and anybody else want to weigh in or should I zoom back in <laughs> People just want to see the pretty, the pretty colors. Oops, come on here, zoom. Like that? Or more? I guess you can kind of still see the bottles here, but you can't really see what I'm doing with them. Okay, so we'll do black, bronze, orange, gold. This first test, and then the next one, we'll reverse it. Slow. Ooh. It's a weird spread. Hmm. That's okay, though. The bronze is the stubborn. But the orange pushes it. Come on, push, push, push. Push, 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 push. Maybe I better not push my luck. Hmm. 
pigment dry edges. I don't like quite how thick the center is, but I didn't feel confident in getting more drops in there. Maybe if I were just moving faster, or maybe the other order will work out a little better. I mean, they're drawing well. They just, they weren't spreading super well. And because I've only got eight drops in here, like you can see, like we've got very uneven rings. Even like here, like this bronze is way more intense than this bronze. Let's, uh... Um, okay. You like barely can see the gold like barely barely see the shimmer like it's bronze orange gold orange bronze but it's just that hmm um let's clean out the cup <laughs> a screaming mouth I didn't I didn't catch it I I should have been watching chat more so I really like like I said they draw well but they don't spread well <laughs> oh it could be a little warmer in my room it's only 71 right now it's chilly outside mm, but maybe we'll get lucky here Maybe we'll just get really good spread in this direction. Hmm. I can see the bronze contaminating the black, but I feel like I need to get the black to force the bronze. I feel like if I try to wait on the bronze, the bronze isn't going to do it for me. Like, the bronze just wants to sit there. Like, fuck it. The black needs to push it. Push it! Yeah, like, again, I feel like the center is, like... Well, number one, contaminated with... See those little lumps? Those are little bronze glitters. I have an idea. I have an I have an I have an idea that I think is a very good idea. Um Cuz I think that looks so in this this is the gold. And it looks really good. The bronze is uh not cooperative in the water marble but the bronze may be just what we need as a base color so let me fold this real quick um we can do like two more tests And like when you like you can't you can't get too attached to anything before you see if it works. Like just don't even bother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we need a lid. Do I have a lid handy? Um, that one has nail polish all over it. Hold on. Fucking idiot. It's 
gonna rain and my hips are like hey did you know it's gonna rain <laughs> oh it's dry okay um okay so we'll use the bronze this is kind of a wide test strip eh yeah. yeah. bronze base both sides and that little extra dab is so like when that part has marble on it then this reminds us what the base color is more than the more than the first one I mean, it's definitely darker overall. The top one is the second one. Yeah. I, I hope this works like I envision it working. Let's clean the cup because the cup is really dirty already. So the hope is without the bronze in the mix I can get more rings and like the orange was not very intense over the bronze but I'm hoping with more rings it can be. So this is six. Nine. Come on. Ten. All right more ish 10 instead of 8 I maybe could force the issue I maybe could go for 12 look at that oops we got a hair that is what it looks like when you have a hair attached to your orange stick. I mean, we could consider other patterns too. I mean, like chevrons or something. I, d I don't really, I don't really feel like chevrons match my mood. But we could consider them. Hmm. The uh, the gold dispersed more than I wanted it to, and the orange is not standing up to the bronze as much as I would like it to. Like I want the the gold color, the color it is over the bronze, and the orange color, the color it is over the white, which is not a thing. Not a thing that can happen. Um. Do I want to? Mm. So, this one? Let's try subbing in this one. Whoa. I'm going to keep the same drip order starting with black instead of reversing it since I'm switching one of the colors just as kind of a little control wait 
Okay. So I'm replacing it with the stoked to be soaked instead of the papaya punch. That's nice. I think I'm gonna end on the orange. I don't know if that's a good decision. I pushed it to get 11 in there. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. Hmm. I'm not loving that either. I mean, should I just forego the additional fall colors and just go black and orange? Because, I mean, I could go black and orange with either of these oranges. So this is like a little more red orange, like you see around the edges, and this is like a little bit more yellowy orange. I think I would probably go with the redder if I were just to break it down to just black and orange and then probably with an orange base rather than a white base yeah I'm not the orange isn't coming through as orange as I want but to get the gold the color that I want I kind of want to use the bronze base Yeah, I definitely don't like the gold over the orange base. And I don't like the orange over the bronze base. Mm. Oh. Or. Hmm. Okay. Testing two things. Testing two things. Okay, so for this strip, I'll put you back over here and put you over here also and this one I'm gonna prep half bronze half orange okay so we're we're simplifying even further. We're going from three colors down to two colors. The bronze side is going to get just black and gold. The orange side is going to get just black and orange. So, whoa. DMC Crimson. Thank you for the host. And we'll see where this leads us. Um, oh, 
close, Amethyst. <laughs> All right, black. Gold. Hmm. So this is four. This is six. It's a slow spread. This is eight. I mean, I, I prefer doing more than eight. Maybe the orange will cooperate for more than eight. It's a pretty even pull, though. I should have maybe done one more black. I mean, I could also do something like where I... If I want these tighter, like since I can't get tighter rings... Like do something like that and then you know so you get this kind of shapes rather than this kind of shapes Woo. I I love how it looks over the bronze I don't know if it's really what I want though. <laughs> Hugs. Hugs to you as well. I hope you're doing well. I'm I'm slightly frustrated, but I'm happier with that than I was with any of the other ones. So yeah, so let's see how this goes. Like I feel like maybe it's the gold that's the culprit and this will finally allow me to get more rings. Four. Six. Eight. Yeah. Ten. Mm. Twelve. So that's pretty good. Ooh, and they're just very, very smooth. I feel like there's maybe a little bit of bleeding on the center two or three rings. Just looking at it, but it might not be obvious once I dip it. They're getting a little bit woogly. Is it my hand or is it the polish? It's probably me. Probably me. I mean, do I want to play up the wiggles? Can you see what I'm talking about, you guys? Like right here, it's like, it's not, it's not a smooth line. Yeah, see how the, the scent, of course, I mean, I could play that up. The way the center is a little bit bleedy. It almost, it's almost coming off ombre. Am I tripping here? Hmm. Cause there's bleeding. Um. Like this is the Whoa. center drool. Polished soul for thirteen months with the prime. Thank you so much for the support. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Autumn or Halloween? I mean, this is more Halloween, obviously, and this is more autumn. I'm kind of feeling the like the ombre of this. I mean, I like both of these. I like both of these 
better than any of what's on the board. Like this one, like this, like this channel here, this is the center channel, this darkest kind of one. And then this one here, you can also see there's like a little bit of bleeding on the black into the orange. And then like out here, it's a little cleaner. And then I think out here, we're probably to white base. It's a little bit hard to tell exactly where the orange base, but I think that's why the last couple look a little bit lighter. But even like that three layer kind of tear of color bleeding. I mean, if I can count on it to keep doing that. I feel like that would look kind of sick. Yeah, you can marble over a gradient. I mean, I'd have to pick different colors. These are too opaque. Well, the black would be black, but... The, the, the yellow might go good over um, a gradient, except I don't like the orange, so I don't know what I would gradient the bronze with. But yeah, I've done I've done marbles over gradients before. Like, would I want to play up more of like I mean I've done flames marbles a bajillion times, but would I want to play that up more? The little bit of a unsteadiness in some of the lines, or would I want to try to just make it cleaner and play up the ombre of it? Or do I want to something else? Hmm. Like something a little bit more flower shaped. Let's do another strip. Let's do another strip. This is what we've got so far. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, that one they're getting a little shiny but yeah the first couple I don't know they were learning learning moments of course I could oh I could maybe ex oh that's an idea thoughts if we start with orange we could probably up it to 13 rings and that might increase the gradienting even slightly more like another ring um, okay, let's fold this. So, we'll see how that goes. I feel like it's been a while. Does anybody remember offhand when is the last time I did a water marble? Was it the hollow taco water marble? Oh, I've got like a. See that little ding? Not talking about the polish that was there, just like that little ding. I've got polish over here too. Well, that's what happens when you're water marble testing. I think it might have. Whoa. Okay. Let's not make a complete mess here. Spilling polish all over the mat. I, th I think it probably was. It must have been. I can't think of one I did after that. What's up, Amy? I saw you X. Whoa! <laughs> I think that was off camera, but I just kind of made a mess. This polish is runnier than I expect it to be. It's just... It's, <laughs> it's going all over the place like a little trail from the bottle to over to the test strip it's on places on the test strip it doesn't need to be yeah i i was kind of tempted to but i think considering that i probably have a large expense coming up here that i need to put myself on a no buy for things i don't necessarily need what, Benny? Why'd you go over there? Come here. Come back over to Benny's chair. He's looking at me like, why? I'm not giving you a treat. You're getting enough treats with your with your medicine. 
I'll be interesting to see like what I mean it sounds like the differences are one is maybe a little faster and a little chemicalier more than that they actually have different finishes um, let's actually also let's close this because we're not going to use that let's close the gold because we're probably not going to use that either Okay, so, wait, I want to start with the orange. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's just see how that with 13 looks. Like maybe I can get this a little bit more symmetrical too if I alternate sides. This will kind of help. To, I mean, you see how wiggly these lines are? That was a clean pull. And they're just, they're going kind of wiggly. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's just what we got. A lot of wiggles. I mean, you guys see, I'm pulling straight. getting some really cool wiggles though I mean that's the sound of a wiggle Benny are you trying to get in a burrito yeah okay hold, hold on Benny hold, hold on buddy whoa that's kind of almost too bleedy but then on the other hand also kind of like whoa i kind of like it like it's dark and that's what happens when you load too much polish in a cup okay man you want to get in here go on go on yeah yeah, you're about as spoiled as you can get. I was right. Can you guys see? See that little tunnel right there? That's where Beanie is. <laughs> we'll leave it like that. Let me know when he moves and I'll move it back. Because he may like sneak out and I might not notice. But yeah, right? Right in there. That is where Beanie wanted to go. He wanted me to lift up the covers so that he could crawl in there. Mm. Yeah, I want I want some comparisons. Like, is it faster than Sesh Viet? Riddle me this. Um. What do, you, what do you guys think of this super dark one? I, I don't know if that's a little bit too much, maybe. Too much? I mean, getting a lot of gradientiness. It's super dark in the middle. And, like, a lot of flame vibes. We'll, cons we'll consider that. This, this next one we're going to do, we're just going to do with 12. Maybe even only with 10. No shrinkage. Yeah, I mean, I don't usually have that problem with Sesh Feet, but I have had it. Certain brands that it doesn't interact well with. I would certainly love to add them to my collection at some point, but kind of got to adult and not immediately indulge. I also, I mean, you guys know I want to refresh my uh, One Coat Black because I really enjoy that polish. 
Is that eight? Nine. Ten. We'll do twelve. Although, even if I had plenty to spare, I don't think I would use it for this. It's... I should have stopped at 10. It's... Consistency is, like, a little on the thicker side. Are you gonna... You're still spreading. Come on here. And when I did marble with it, I mean, it'll marble, but I'd never get this many rings out of it. So... See what happens if we do like just a flower. Maybe this wasn't such a bad decision to do 12. First I was questioning myself. Mm, I think we can go more. Hmm. Carefully more. Hmm. What do you guys think about that? I can still see, like, there's some shadowing starting here and on the inner layer as well. Like, we're probably going to get, like, some more gradient effect. Mm. Well... almost too much but like that's kind of fantastic maybe go for just 11 like managing this bleed this is one of those interesting things because a lot of times it would be like god damn it i don't want my colors to bleed but i mean in that case you could just go for the edge but in this case it's managing the bleed and you want to kind of get it consistent because otherwise you know you're not gonna be able to get a consistent marble but i kind of really dig this Maybe even, do we want orange in the center or do we possibly want black in the center? That's what I'm envisioning. Like, how wide is my nail? Like, if I do that... Hmm. I, I like this a lot. It was, I you, you I think you might have been too slow, son, because I looked, I actually wasn't home when it dropped. There was still some available last night, I thought, unless it was just lying to me, and if I tried to put it in my cart, it would have been like, oh, we're sorry. But hopefully they'll restock again. I mean, I think this was a slight, or is the flaky one the one they're having trouble getting the flakies for? I don't remember. I don't remember. The bl I know the black was in stock because I like actually put it in my cart and then I was like, you need to not do this right now. Caters, thank you for the host. I think we need to try this with orange in or with black in the center. Same amount of blur or less blur? I mean, with the black in the center. Basically, do I do I start with black and just skip the center orange drop or do I start with orange and keep 12 drops of polish? These are subtleties that rack my brain when I'm water marbling. Mm. What time is it? It's five o'clock. I'm starting to get hungry. I've got a sandwich for later. 
Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense then. Which, I mean, I don't know. How the hell is hollow made? <laughs> it's good, though, that there, it's not like... Well, I guess it's just going to have to be not as great of Blakey's, like, patience for the good stuff. Um, I think I can skip the base colors because we know, we know that we want the orange as the base color. Otherwise, um, not, not only just like to make sure that the orange is appropriately intense, but to make any bubbles slightly less like glaring, like see, we got a bubble right there, but it's just orange. It's not a uh, wall. God, I just like. It's orange. It's not like glaring white. So. Let's clean out this cup. This water is, feels super dirty. And this cup is dirty too. Um, okay, so we'll put you over here to dry. Um, okay. I think I'm going to start with the orange and still do 12 drops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was it a Sally's brand. You can't find it anywhere else, son. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm trying to give, make sure the black has enough time to fully spread because the orange is kind of the pusher in this combination. Also might spread just a little bit more after you do the first couple lines. You don't want to dip out too much of the center. So we're having a light touch especially comes in handy because you don't want to like collect. Every time you dip out like you're removing that polish from the cup. Like you can dip out your whole entire center color and then just draw the luck. Oh, that was my stomach. I apologize if you guys actually heard that. I almost feel like I could do two drops of black. But I think the main problem is, like I said, that the orange is the pusher. So the orange is always going to create... With, with the same number of drops, the orange is always going to create a larger center. Got to be very delicate. Especially like at the center and like make sure that you're splitting. Splitting the petal in the center evenly. Unless you don't want to split it evenly. I mean you just got to. I mean if you are fine with not that's also fine. But like be intentional about it. One more. Okay. I mm, almost made a hole there. I mean, it's not really going to matter because it would probably be a two nail dip. But I don't like leaving holes. All right. So, where do I have this? Oh, right here. I see. Oh, I see. weird can you see the tone that the black took on like not black and not orange it's kind of fabulous weird and wonderful 
be easier to show you guys once it's dry. There. What do you guys think? I, I think I want to try that, but with two drops of black in the middle. What if I could get that and a black in the middle? Can't find it anywhere else. That sucks. Sally's did that to me too. <laughs> Many years ago. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. Okay, let's go. Mm. I mean, from what I'm seeing, I feel like this one might come out with a darker center like I want. Also, like I said, trying to be very mindful of dipping out only as much as I need to keep the center clean and not over dipping. Okay. Yeah, this is very touchy. I feel like. But I'm kind of making it that way on myself by wanting to do... Like wanting to keep the black as the center and not like... Just go with whatever it wants to kind of do. I mean, we're still getting some asymmetry, but we've managed to keep the black as the center of each petal. Not quite. Still kind of just with the faded effect in the middle ring. <sighs> Wait, Sally's doesn't sell the big refill anymore? We got a little bit of darkness in the center, but still mostly just like the blended color. Which is not, I mean, it's not bad. Hmm. Hmm, y'all. So, if you are just joining us, Like, really, these are the ones we're considering. And I find myself leaning more toward the orange-centered flower. Uh, more, more one of these two than this one, I think. So either the... The flower with the orange center or the well they don't quite look like flames that direction i mean they don't necessarily have to be flames they kind of remind me of flames though but i could go either way i mean i could depending on how i place it on the nail like do i want the darkness at the cuticle do i want you know do i want to place my nail like like this into the design like this into the design like you know what i mean which way do I want it pointing and which way do I want the darkness? Oh, it's sticking to my hands because it's not fully dry. 
Get the nail polish all over the place, of course, as per usual. Um, just like swiping down my hands quickly because they're like sticky, actually. Cucumbers and sesh feet in one trip. Yeah, I think the last few I've gotten the big replacement bottle just like off of Amazon. Alright. Walmart doesn't carry it anymore? That's kind of surprising to me. What have I done in the past for Halloween? Let me just quickly do this. Am I about to like redo? Basically redo a manicure I've already done like eight times. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've done just like black and orange before. Let's just take a little peek. Oh, I hate the new studio. Stop it. No. Oh my God, I hate the new studio. YouTube. Okay. Wow, are these, how are these sorted? They are sorted chronologically. I apparently haven't done a water marble for Halloween in a couple years. Listen, I just didn't call it a Halloween water marble. I'm sorry with the yawns, you guys. That one's very flamey, but it's like a completely different shade of orange. What if I just search orange? Mm. I I really like the the super darkness of this, but I think I'm going to go with this because it's more different than what I done in the past so I think this was 12 drops starting with black and ending with orange is that right two four six eight ten twelve yeah please stop beeping at me gmail please stop please stop okay. um Do I want to get a new cup or use this dirty cup? Sometimes getting a new cup is cursed. My, I don't know if I can call it a trick for that or whatever. Amethyst, like you have a the, the brush, like take it up to the neck and like wipe it off as much as you can. So it's like as clean as you can get it, you know? Then just like stick it straight down and pull it straight back up and see like how coated it is. And then like you can visualize like, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Cause sometimes like some black polishes, like look at this. I mean, this bottle is dirty as hell. Like, I don't know how much is in here. <laughs> you know, when, when the pigment is so like strong that it like sticks and dries on the side of the bottle and you can't really see, I mean like this one, of course, you know, something that's easy to see where exactly the level is, but a lot of different, more pigmented colors. We're just like older janky bottles. I mean, you guys saw some of my older janky bottles in the swatches earlier, like, they just get hard to see into. Um, yeah, let's switch cups. This cup is so dirty. Let's see if I can get... We'll, we'll use the water. We might need a little bit more water also, but we'll use this. God, I want these little pieces out of here, though. Get out. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And let's just top it off just like a tiny bit. That's too much. Fuck. <laughs> Can I like okay, no, we got we got a solution. We'll just take a little corner paper towel. I feel like if I try to pour it out, I'll pour out too much. And I'll just sop up like a whole bunch of water. Like not a whole bunch though, like some. Is this absurd of me? Press one for yes, two for no. Mm. Okay. Is that a good level? Maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. I should have just poured it out. No, I vote one myself. It's absurd. <laughs> We can all be absurd together, you guys. Okay, so let's... Where do we want to put this? We have an awful lot of polish out here. Um, let's move it over here. Uh, and I'll put it away later. I wish I could just like open a drawer and slide them in there, but... The china glazed drawers are too crowded for that, and I know that these are out of like a bunch of different drawers, so they'll just have to be attended to later. Hopefully, Benny doesn't mind sharing his chair. Um, also, these, and also these. We'll put this over here to finish drying, and we'll put this up here. Is he still in there? He hasn't come out yet. I see like a swatch of gray fur. I forgot he was actually in there. I was thinking he had fully ditched us and I guess this is only like partially ditching us. Okay, we'll throw this away. A medicine dropper. Ooh, I do have the syringes. Okay, we'll put the acetone on that. Um, We've got sesh feed here. We've got... All the, we got all the things like that, like that, like, like that. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break before we get started on the manicure. Maybe do my yeah, my cuticles are a little rough, but I don't necessarily feel like messing with them right now. Hmm. Let me check this real quick. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to take a bathroom break. We're going to come back and we're going to do pretty things. Pretty orange and black things. Pretty flower shaped thingies. I need to... Uh, uh, I need to consider my thumbs. God, what the hell is in my eye? probably a beanie here I guess I can investigate this when I go downstairs and uh peer with a bright light bulb into my eyeball um I'm gonna take a break if you need a break now is the time when we come back we'll do a water marble and I think I think that covers that let me find a little bit of music for you guys so you don't have to just sit here in awkward silence while I'm gone um Go in here, find Mr. Kevin McLeod, and pull up the unwritten return for you guys. So, um, I got a little pack. The little pack was like five syringes. I have one that's dirty from like, uh, fluid art testing, that kind of disappointing fluid art testing we did that one time. And I haven't actually needed to refill my latex, which I'm not sure. Where is my latex? Um, good thing I don't need latex because I don't. Oh, here it is. Boy, you just like rolled, rolled off under the side. Um, I haven't had to fill my latex since I got the syringes. Still doing okay in here, latex? 
smooth as the day I put you in there. Really like this stuff. Thank you to everybody that suggested it to me. Bites down and destroys them. Oh no. Um, so yeah, I, I already said what's happening. Let me put up a BRB. BRB. And that's what's happening.
Hi, I'm back. Just in time, I think, because I don't know if I had that on repeat. And I forgot to throw this away. Oh, God, I didn't miss. I didn't miss. Thank you, son. Okay, so... We're going to need the latex. We've got that. We're also going to need the tape. For reasons. God. Why's tape got to be so sticky and attract all kinds of cat hair and dust? Um. Okay. Fresh paper towel. I feel like I'm... I'm just realizing, too, this is like two cups. Well, I guess that's just how it is now. It's fine. Okay. Well, let's clean off the nails. Oh. And turn this off. We are, in fact, back. Zoom in a bit. Oh, and get out the tutorial camera. So many things to remember when I haven't when I haven't streamed. It's like what? There's so many fucking moving pieces to this. Okay. Sorry for the wiggles. Okay. So I'm cleaning my nails with 100% acetone. You can use a regular polish remover or alcohol as you prefer. But of course, whatever kind of base coat you're using adheres better to a clean dry nail. Get the underside too, just a bit. Helps for tip wrapping. Helps especially if you're doing like the full super duper wrap, like I do if I use regular base coat, which I swear is like, I feel so spoiled when I use regular base coat. Like, oh my God, like my nail polish isn't even chipping. A serious like full week long manicure it doesn't accidentally peel off and yet I love my peelies I, don't, I still haven't really quite decided like is this like the colors are Halloween but the colors are, are the the colors are kind of Halloween but the design is kind of autumn like, it's not exactly leafy, it's more flowery. Kind of almost like a mum. Maybe that's what it's reminding me of. I'm getting mum vibes. Do people, do people know what mums are? I hope. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's 100% it. Especially because I went with such very narrow petals. Okay, camera. You gonna be good camera today? I hope. Are we? Yeah, this is, this is fine. And let's get you guys a little bit more. There. Mm. There. <clears throat> Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I don't consider myself a super, like a super gardener. I've got my berries. I appreciate having like flowers and plants in the yard, but I like like a low maintenance garden. I thought about making another like bouquet come in and feature on Beanie's cam, but 
I'm not like super thrilled with what we have blooming right now. It's like I'm looking around and seeing what's blooming in other people's yards and like maybe I should get some of that. Okay. My staining is almost grown out finally. Although I did get some. Can you guys see on the middle nail there? It's like a jagged dark spot. There, at that angle you can kind of see it. The orange stained. Um, so there's some kind of unevenly placed staining on my nails depending on where the orange zigzag was on each nail. I don't remember the orange staining when I used it for the Monarch Butterfly gradient. Maybe I'm just not recalling, but I was kind of surprised. The other weird staining, which I, if I recall, was from another, or from a yellow, which was also a Zoya, has almost grown out though. Okay. Yeah, bleeding hearts are beautiful. We have some pink ones and some white ones. I don't usually pick them because they're kind of delicate. They're not really like bouquet flowers. They're pretty to look out outside. Pansies are not super my favorite, but I can appreciate them. Especially like the ones that are like super cute. Like, there's a lot of different, like, varieties of pansies. There. See on the middle nail? That, that ghost of a zigzag. Not as bad on this hand, actually. I can see it in person, but it's not too much showing up on camera okay so what is this again stoked to be soaked and liquid leather we, we almost dry here almost almost yeah like little fairy faces <clears throat> and you don't want to um apply you st like start your manicure um before <clears throat> you're ready for takeoff is fully dry because it gets weird like it gets real glommy i don't know i've i've done it a couple times and it was literally like what is wrong and then i realized i was like the base coat isn't dry like some base coats you can get away with it ready for takeoff you really have to kind of wait but you can see can you tell how it's like not quite as shiny looking like it's not exactly matte but you can tell you can eyeball when it's dry <clears throat> okay <clears throat> camera there we go the colors that I'll be using today are both from China glaze the orange is stoked to be soaked and I'll be using that as my base color as well as in the marble and the black is liquid leather uh, once I have my blah, 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 blah. I fumbled my tongue there is that, is that a phrase that I can say you know what I mean Let's try that again. I did not like that take. <clears throat> the colors that we're going to be using today are both from China Glaze. This orange is stoked to be soaked, and I'll be using this as my base color as well as in the water marble. And the black is liquid leather. Once I have my base color applied, I'll be protecting around my nails with liquid latex as well as tape.
feel like this is such a weird consistency polish. Like it's very workable, but it's, I don't know. Runny, but almost stretchy, is that weird? Maybe runny isn't quite the right, right word. And I'm trying to be neat just because, you know, we're trying to be neat when we can. But, of course, it doesn't really matter because we will need to do cleanup. Not, not so OP with the protection that I can get away without cleanup. I think I've talked about that before, how that like really impresses me when people are able to get everything so neat and close that you actually don't have to clean up when you remove your protection. I uh, I don't have very good luck with ready for takeoff and gel. That's why it what actually initially got me to try the Madame Glam. Hey Luke, hope you're doing well. We are uh, just getting started on the actual nail art. And I'm hoping it goes well. I need some beautiful nails in my life. I need I need something good in my life right about now. The nails are it. Okay. Yeah, I think this orange is really nice. Like it doesn't just remind me of pumpkins, it reminds me of like gourds and squash in general. Like the inside of a, uh, what do they call it? Butternut squashes? I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan of squash. I like squash. I like sweet potato. I wonder if you could make like squash fries or if they'd be too wet. I mean, squash and sweet potato are kind of similar, but then again, not really. <clears throat> chores and adulting stormy I, I wonder if that's the same storm we're supposed to get it's either later tonight or tomorrow this is actually a really nice color part of me just says do a second coat of this and like add a hollow top coat and like go take a fucking nap <laughs> but that feels like it would kind of be a cop out so let's not do that let's finish a manicure what a fucking concept <clears throat> in the tape dispenser over here yeah my only thing with storms this time of year is like it's very unpleasant to get wet if it's chilly I think yeah and that too it's like you can't work in the garden or the yard if it's too wet outside it's like go I feel like this is just a really nice color not necessarily what you would expect um looking at the bottle um redder a little bit darker um like they're not completely like oh my god but it's like it's definitely one where it's a little bit of a surprise to me more dramatic in real life than it is on camera too i will say um okay so let's get this open Time for taping and time for uh, latexing. Is that can I can I make that a verb? Latexing. Got to get that latexing done. <laughs> oh, all right. So we just go like straight up one side, around the tip, and then straight down the other side, and then 
with the latex we go nicely around the curve of the cuticle we kind of meet up with both sides uh, of the tape not too thick not too thin we want a nice peel out of this and then repeat oof my nails are so short right now that had a little bit of fuzz on it but I think it's gonna be okay mm. Oh, my hands are shaky. I wonder if it's stress or tired shaky. How, how do you tell? Do we have one of our doctor viewers in the house? How can I tell why my hands are shaking? Mm. Tape is almost easier to get really close to your sidewalls than latex for me I guess because my sidewalls are for the most part pretty straight so the tape is just like matches okay almost done here Is this too big for this? That's fine. Ooh, I need to remind myself to think about my thumbs again because I didn't. I stopped thinking about them, but I hadn't come to a conclusion yet. Um, dipping, dipping my thumbs together is a thing. Um, with a design like this, where it's like the flower, though. Like when I dip my thumbs together, they don't go like symmetrically together. If that makes sense, they kind of go adjacent to each other that doesn't make sense maybe it does I'll show you what I mean in just a second and not the best angle probably for the thumb but you know how that goes here's the thumb poor thumb not poor little right thumb just poor little left thumb Still poor with them. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Yo, goodness. 13. Hello. Thank you so much for the support. 13 months with the Prime. And if you have Amazon Prime, no, you guys all know that by now, I think. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Oh, Buttspot also hopes you're doing well. So... For this, I'm planning to dip pinky and ring, um, index and, and middle, and then we've got the thumb here, which I mean, I've prepped up. We either have to dip the thumb individually, because we're going with the flower pattern. I mean, I could like just add it in there on one of these, but would probably get kind of just a random section of the cup. Um, if I dip it with my other thumb, like there is a way where I can like dip them like this it's very awkward and very difficult the easier way is to dip them like this but then you see we've got the outside edge next to the inside edge like that so like this is the way to do it like symmetrically I don't know like it's easy it's easy to hold your thumbs together like this but how do you dip them like that I can't like so to dip them I gotta like it's, I don't know. So that's, that's a thing we have to decide. I'm kind of leaning toward maybe just dipping them individually and not trying to cheap out, so to speak, on like one more freaking extra dip. Because it would just, it would just, it would be easier. Plus then we'd really be able to like showcase the ombre effect that we're, we're hoping is consistent we're hoping like hell is consistent for those of you just joining us we uh we have discovered at a 12 drop water marble bullseye that we get quite a bit of bleeding on the interior rings which i like and so we're going for that and we're going to hope that it's consistent ish I mean, it's not going to be the same every time. It's not. I accept that. 
I hereby solemnly swear that I will not be mad at my water marble for not being consistent. <laughs> but that's what we're that's what we're aiming for. <clears throat> So, I'm nervous. You guys, why did I decide to do this? I'm so stressed out. Why am I adding more stress by doing water marble? Water marble of all things. Okay, no, it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, zoom you guys out. Um, more, more zoom out. Like that. Okay, so... I need orange. We're gonna need to open up the black. The least objectionable stress. Amethyst. That makes too much sense. I would like to say that makes way too fucking much sense. <clears throat> I think we should clean this. We probably should clean this. We tr we transferred this over from the other cup we were practicing in, so it's not fully clean water. Please, please go to the edge. There we go. The cup won't be pristine anymore, but that's okay. So Luke, Luke, are you still are you still here? If you're lurking, you don't have to answer. But are you racing tonight? I'm curious. Other viewers may also be curious. There we go. Now we should have a nice clean, a nice clean, uh, oh, we're going to need some tweezers, aren't we? Let's, probably these. Um, you guys need maybe a little bit like that. Is that good? We're, of course, catering to the tutorial camera for a little bit. because YouTube. Did I tell you guys that I think I've decided what I'm doing for my anniversary, but it requires a lot of editing and I'm not sure how I feel about that. <clears throat> okay. Water, please stop. Please stop shaking. As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Four. Six. Eight. So at 12 drops, this bullseye is actually a little bit overloaded. You can see those center drops don't quite want to spread. And that's also going to lead to a little bit of bleeding between the colors, which I'm actually counting on. It's intentionally a part of my design. So if the colors don't bleed together, I'm actually going to be rather upset. But I'm just going to go ahead and draw in all the petals. Like we've got a wonky spread on the side. I'm so nervous. The center doesn't look like it's... The center does not look like it's bleeding. But it might be on the underside. Might have to wait to see for sure until we dip. The stress, you guys. <clears throat> mm. 
This ended up really weird shaped. I'm going to be dipping two nails and I'm trying to decide if I want to go kind of like the longer way or the wider way on my nails or somewhere kind of in between. I think uh, we'll just go for it like this. Line up my nails, one on each half of the flower, and then go ahead and dip in. With my orange stick, I'm going to clean up that excess polish around the edges and the back and then I'm going to slowly pull my nails out and there's the water marble with not as quite as much bleeding as in my testing but still enough that I think it is accenting the design going to use a pair of tweezers just grab hold of the tape on one side here and then peel it all off and once I've got this off I'm gonna go ahead and marble the rest of my nails I'm I'm neither thrilled nor disappointed I'm about I guess neutral on these I don't know if that was a very good shot of the cleanup either, honestly. They're okay. They're okay. They're not as bleedy as the testing. We'll need to improvise. Wait a minute, what? Is Pancakes uh, unavailable to be... DMing us? Is it considered a DM if it's not done a uh, uh, D and D? <laughs> Can we still call him that? For six eight. Ten, twelve. Okay. Mm. I I feel like again. Like I'm not getting very much bleeding here. Like what is even up with that? I was getting so much in all the testing. Maybe I added too much water. We're too much higher up in the cup. Slightly larger bullseye equals less bleeding. I think this one might go on my thumb. Wait, do I have two more strokes here? I think I do. Here and here. Um. I want to dip my thumb fuck how do I want to dip my thumb like that I don't know if that's good at all I don't know little there's a little bit of bleeding there so frustrating I mean like I said technically bleeding is bad but when you want it to happen and then it's like suddenly not happening consistently it's 
super irritating. Oh, yes, I did know it was her birthday because she had birthday stream. But yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I don't remember her saying anything about race night during her stream. So yeah, maybe you're right. Probably you're right. Hey, Daggett. And enjoy your lurk, Amethyst. Oh, and Dr. Crotron still. It's a spe it's, I feel like it's a special moment like with Dr. Crotron here. Three. Four. Five. Oop, that was almost a double. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, wait, what? No, that's not right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is twelve. Where, I, I started counting really weird. I don't know what I just almost did there. This looks like we have some bleeding going. Which, as discussed, is desirable. I'm just going to anchor it on the sides here. Okie dokie. This is awkward again. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like how it's turning out, but like, I feel like the bleeding debated me. Like, I accepted it and then it abandoned me. I accepted you for what you were. Or, like, I should have just not switched the cup or fucked with the level of the water at all. Like, at all. Clean that up. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. How I do I like say that every time I water marble and dip my nails. I have no confidence in my dip lately. I feel like just like everyone is like questionable ooh ooh we got some bleeding we got some cool bleeding on this one yeah but not so much that it looks super um, out of place with the ones that didn't get as much bleeding um careful ooh, that was close actually Okay, get this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yes, we can work with that, yeah. Whoa. This one has the most bleeding so far. Blush thunder. <laughs> oh, did you guys hear that? That was my back. Oh, that was so good. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Gee, thanks, Doc. Gee, thanks. Thanks so much. We we missed you. <laughs> no, I did miss you.
Hey, Midnight Calico. Yes. I, I think we are definitely leaning Halloween more than autumn. Am I right? Yeah, I think so. This this darkest one is my favorite. But I'm not mad at the other ones. The pinky's pretty good, too. Like, there's a, a lot of, like, interesting stuff going on there. These somehow have the least... I don't know. The thumb, too. The thumb did not get a ton of bleeding. But, I mean, it got a really good pattern. So, I mean, it's all good. <clears throat> this is this is true, Dr. Curtron. Are you... I mean, no pressure. Are you going to possibly maybe be able to join us? Because, see, okay, so here's the thing I'm thinking. If we're left to our own devices... Luke and Doc, if you're not doing something with your wife, who I'm sure also misses you and is probably more important than random strangers on the internet. Um, we could have a 106 with friends night. I've, uh, I need to refresh myself on some of my practice since I have not played all week. Um, but like I I really want to do a run with the new route. The new route saves one and a half to two minutes. I'm sitting here with the 40120. The new route in itself should carry me to my sub four. That's what should happen. Now, what's what's actually going to happen, especially if I treat it as a normal Saturday night and get adult beverages. Adult beverages purchased on the advice of this very Dr. Crotron and this very Top Hat Luke, such as a mango Lagunitas. I think Dr. Crotron suggested the Lagunitas and some other kind of Sam Smith thing, which I think came recommended from both of them. Yeah, that's why that's why it would be fun to do it with friends because we could just tell you all about it. I could tell you all about it right now if you're interested, Doctor Crotron. It's all Luke's fault. That's the first thing you need to know. <laughs> I mean, somehow, somehow it is all your fault, Luke. Even though you're only responsible for like a portion of it. Hey, bro. Meh. Luke writes the Lagunitas. Meh. You don't like Lagunitas? I thought it was you. I really did. I mean, the additional flavoring is probably going to be my favorite part, Luke. Because <laughs> the one I found is flavored like mango. Okay. Um. Oh, why did I just set this to the side as though I was done with it? We need to... Actually, let's make packages of our fingers. Because this is right hand and we need to be able to lift up brushes still. Let's fold it over like we're wrapping presents. Icky San Francisco. Well, like seriously, no pressure, Dr. Crotron, but I think it would be fun. To summarize the new route, um, let me think of the key points here. So you need a little bit of early extra geo to open the crossroads stag station early. So you get the you get the geo node right before Fury. And you get the geo node, like right under dirt mouth, right after you jump down the well. And you get most of the geo from the Aspid Arena, so that you have 50 geo, so that you can open the stag right when you go by it. And since you go in there to open the stag early, instead of waiting in dirt mouth to be able to sit on the bench, I've seen people just equipping Fury at that bench. I think that's probably personal preference, but it does make sense because, like, in Dirtmouth, you have to wait. Um, then you go about your business. Then after, after Soul Tyrant, you go get Fluke early and you kill things in the face with Fluke a whole bunch. Um... 
And then in Green Path, you don't get the stag. You you save Quit back to Dirt Month, and that's when you go, and you you, um, you take the stag to no wait. I'm not doing a good job of explaining this, am I? I forgot to talk about when we go back to the early stag that we opened. Instead of instead of like going and getting the vessel fragment like on your way out of the city, like after the moist asshole room, you just hop on the stag in storerooms and you go to Crossroads and you go to see Sally. And then after you pick up the Grim Child, you go get the storeroom Grim Child first and then you get the vessel fragment then instead. And then you dream gate back to green path. And then that's all. Luke, did I like even do 10% of a good job there? Or Wesker, if you're still here. Who the invitation Wesker is also open to you. It was an all right description. That's probably generous, Luke. Thanks. You can do that too. You could you could do runs to un while we do 106 as long as you hang out with us. Oh. Yeah, I I wish I could identify why I was not getting as much bleeding as I was before. Like am I skimping on drops? Is it really that the water level is slightly different? I mean, look at all that. Look at that fantastic amount of bleeding we were getting. Smooth gradient of bleeding. We did not get that here. Just comes across really dark on camera, but you can see we didn't get that effect. Meh. Meh. What time is it? 6.03. Well, I, I'm, I'm getting hungry here. I mean, I'm take. I am taking a dinner break as usual. We could, if I mean, for if, if we're on our own, we can set our own schedule. We don't even have to all start at the same time if we're just like running together and not like actually racing. I mean, I'm gonna have to start out with some practice because I literally have not played in a week. I have a uh, sub downstairs that I picked up earlier when I went to drop off the rental car. So that I was prepared for my dinner break instead of like wandering around like, where am I going to have dinner? Um, orange stick, please come here. We're super lopsided here. Okay, so that's four. Six, eight, ten. Maybe I was just getting like bigger drops of black. I don't know. Eleven, twelve. That's so lopsided. And I have, if I'm correct in my recollection, like exactly one portion left of some really good chips. Well, exactly one portion, like it's like measured or something, but like an amount of chips that would be suitable for a single portion. This is weird. Maybe this is a thumb. And maybe we clean the cup after this because we're so fucking crooked. Oofta, oofta, boofta. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a thumb. It's woogly as well as lopsided. Woogly being an extremely technical term, of course. Why do I feel like, where's, where's the one that matches this one? I feel like this one needs to be divided, but where's its opposite side that needs to be divided? Or did I just miss it? 
you know what it's not that big of a deal let's just okay we want to put the seam on the inside corner so let's can you guys see Go like that Oh, some bleeding. Hmm. Still not like what we were getting in testing, though. Like, I'm trying to be really heavy on my drops. I mean, your, bro your body probably wants that extra, like, protein and energy just to, like, help it fight off the sickness. Go, go get or have your have you a cheeseburger and a big old glass of orange juice I I've okay you guys I've never had five guys they're here I mean they they exist here they didn't always exist here but like it's not like I have never had them because they're not here Should I try five guys? Yes, no. One for yes, two for no. <laughs> Obviously at a later date, not today, because as discussed, we already have today's dinner. Okay, clean, pretty beautiful, clean surface. Okay. Alright, let's just let's just get a great marble. Sometimes I think it's just that the polishes have been open so long. Like the black sticks almost every time I go to take the stem out. Six. Eight. Ten. Eleven. This feels promising. This feels super promising. Let's anchor you there. We got a good spread. We got a good anchor. It's not super lopsided. Like a little bit. We can we can handle a little bit. That's fine. Okay. 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 First half done. Then go in between. Okay, I really have high hopes for this one. Please don't disappoint me, water marble. Please, please no debate. Okay. Like we kind of got, like I want to kind of shrink that side there like that. Okay, I think we can do Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Doubt. <sighs> uh, can't see it yet. Trying to wipe off the orange stick. Mm. Ooh. I like that one. That's got some nice bleeding in it. 
and a nice I like that color balance a lot it's like a lot of dark never order the large fries how large of a fries is this Cajun fries. I could tell you right now, I have to stay away from those. <laughs> Me and Spicy do not get along. Aw. <laughs> We're not done yet, Amethyst. You're back in time. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, do this, what hopefully is the last cup, as long as everything goes well. We haven't had any cups where it was like, um, not, not workable for something, which is kind of the nice thing about having the thumbs as a separate dip, is that if you get a cup that's like, eh, you, you know, it's not really good enough for two fingers, but usually you can still find that it's good enough for, like, to find one good spot. Six... Eight. Ten. That wasn't very much black at all. Twelve. I should have I should have gone another dip of black there. Oh well. Hindsight is twenty twenty. The fog baney. Get in your chair, man. Yeah, I hear you. Probably everybody else did too. Get in your chair, man. Get in Benny's chair. Can you can you do that for me? Come on up here. I don't like this cup. Maybe I spoke too soon. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That center drop of... Well, it wasn't the center, but the next to center drop of black was... Not ideal. Hmm. Hmm. Let's Okay. Uh go. Well, for better or for worse, that was the final tip. For better or for worse. Hopefully for better. Please. <gasps> oh no. My other fingers were stuck together. That's actually that's fine. That middle finger is not like any other finger. But it's fine. There's room. There's room for Bean. Look Look at all this room. Plenty of room, even for his fat butt. Yeah, get up here. Beanie, up. Beanie, up. He's literally... I can't quite get him. 
He's like literally right there. Also, hello, Ray. Okay, take this off. Um, I feel like I was gonna say something else. I'm such, I'm such a scatterbrain. I really am. I like how these turned out though. Like not quite, not quite what I wanted. I wanted more bleeding. But like there's a pretty, pretty decent amount on this one. This one actually, even though it doesn't have a lot of bleeding, it's actually kind of a phenomenal pattern. I like that a lot. Somehow it turned out a lot tighter than all the other ones. Like, how'd that happen? I do the same amount of lines every time. I don't know. I guess I just got in a narrow part of the pattern there. Kitten picks. Heck yeah. There he is. Hi, Bainey. Hi. I'll move this. This kind of in your way. Yeah, plenty of room for Bane's. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> um, okay. Let's let's actually move this like over here. Oops. Something fell. Oh, it's okay. Um, we're gonna need a couple more q tips, I think. To uh Start cleaning them. Let's zoom you guys in a little bit. Yep. Mm. Uh -huh. <sighs> Clean up, top coat, dinner break. All right. <clears throat> oh, you're not on camera. Let's turn you on. That'd be good. <clears throat> Once you've finished marbling all your nails, you can go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> that crash was like me trying to get my cleanup brush out, and it was apparently tangled with a bunch of other brushes. All right, let's try that again without the without the clutter, clatter, clitter clatter, pitter patter. <clears throat> Once you've finished marbling all your nails, you can go ahead and do cleanup. Any larger spots, I'm just going to get with a Q-tip dipped in acetone. And then for the larger spots, I'm going to use a small brush dipped in acetone. <coughs> Guys, see all this grimy residue? Which is kind of gross. It's what you don't get with one coat black. That's why I'm always like, ooh! so good get that underside because it's a little bit weird a little bit here and here yeah um, and then the brush <laughs> Maybe he just knows how world famous his nipples are at this point. Or his nipples by association, I guess I should say. It's not actually his nipples that are famous. Merely the concept of a Barney nipple. Oopsie. So, heck yeah, pudding pops. I mean, it seems like almost any time would be a good time for pudding pops, even if it is after the kitchen has been cleaned amethyst. 
I used to love Puddin' Pops. Like when they actually sold them. Already made and frozen. Do they still? I don't think they do. What is everybody else having for dinner? I feel like my little sub sandwich is kind of boring. Certainly, I know you guys would expect nachos, but there's just no longer time for nachos most Saturdays, unfortunately. I need a little bit more acetone to finish cleaning up the other hand, I do believe. Yeah, much better. Already much better. Bye, Beanie. At least he didn't stand there waiting for me to burrito him in the bed again. <laughs> oh no. Well, I mean, if you kept the fridge closed like the whole time, it was probably still coolish in there I mean it's still an insulated location but I mean that's a risky move I, I will say IMO he's doing okay he's still on his medicine um because I was still looking like you can see the spot that's the ulcer the injury um, but his pupils are not doing weird things and he's not, he doesn't seem to be having any problems hunting or anything. So he's fine. <laughs> you were just hungry, like, woo food. And then almost like, Hey, wait a minute. <sighs> so dirty. definitely going to need a hand washing to fully get rid of that residue just because I don't know as, as you wipe it up it just like creates more residue it just ke gets like a fainter and fainter residue it doesn't ever actually fully go away more ibuprofen yeah gotta take care of yourself I mean also yeah I mean the pudding pops would be great for that because they'll be cold too you see I mean, at least I'm imagining frozen pudding pops. Are there other kinds of, fro of pudding pops, like a non-frozen variety of pudding pops? So after we finish cleanup, ooh, thank you for the kafala midnight calico. After we finish cleanup, we'll uh, we'll do a bubble check. This is not super bubbly. Um, there are a couple, but it doesn't seem to be like too bad. We'll clean up our bubbles and then we'll top coat it. Like I, I initially, you know, I heard the voice of Dino and I did consider, I, I'm not like, you know, not even thinking about it. I did consider hollow, but I feel like that would take away a little bit from the, like the darkness of it, the like fall vibe. I mean, fall not that there's any wrong time for hollow but fall if if hollow was a season it wouldn't be fall <laughs> like i can think of moments you know spring moments summer moments winter moments that all could almost be like holographic as far as like the intensity and variety of color you know 
scintillating icicle reflections of light and you know various things but like fall fall is definitely fucking not hollow Ooh, only four hours. Okay, that's... I mean, today I also learned. <laughs> I would think it would last longer than that. I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? I'm just an amateur nail artist slash gamer on Twitch. <laughs> the top hat horse. So what, what do you have to do to get the top hat horse? I'm assuming it's a reward for doing some crazy crazy high level thing because that's what you've been up to lately bro all right oh did i not i didn't do my undersides here see this is what i under the marble like continues you know it's like you see here and then just imagine it like continues and dips over the underside into the tips of the fingers and that's what q-tips are for I mean, among many other Q-tips are like, could Q-tips be the most versatile nail art supply? Maybe. <laughs> More acetone. Hollow, hollow, okay. But like, I mean, in natural world order. You know. The natural world's autumn has not got anything hollow. <laughs> oh. Cotton buds are swell. I mean, it kind of is. I mean, these actually are Q-tips, but, you know, it just has become the generic name, whether you actually have Q-tip brand cotton swabs or not. What, what do the Q-tips actually call it? Oh, I thought the box was right there. Q-tips. Cotton swabs. Not cotton buds. I mean, I guess I can see cotton bud. I mean, it's not like, oh, you can't call it that. I mean, call it whatever the fuck you want. It's not like I don't know what you're talking about, and it's not like you don't know what I'm talking about, so. So, so. Okay, so I'm just going to go on for final cleanup around the cuticles in particular. Make sure to round out that portion of the design. A nice clean cuticle is vital in creating visual illusions. And also just not irritating you when you have little bits of polish like stuck in areas where you don't want little bits of polish stuck like right there. And I actually probably poured out a little bit too much acetone than I really need for this final round of cleanup, but oh well. Oh well. Okay, that hand is done. What? Where'd that come from? I swear I... So you just keep noticing little dirty spots. So, we're close to the end here. Um, I don't think I need that long of a dinner break because it's not like I have to cook anything. All I have to do is go get my sub out of the fridge and like stuff it into my mouth. Um, so probably 
the usual 8 o'clock time is probably going to be pretty close to when I come back. For those of you who would like to participate in some Hollow Knight shenanigans this evening. Okay, this, yeah, this, I think this, this middle finger here might be my favorite one. It's got more bubbles than any of the others. Hopefully those smooth out nicely and don't leave me with burst bubbles. Um, God, my knuckles on this hand are super dirty. I need another cotton. I need another cotton swab. <laughs> Okay. There's a little Oh, this one. You sp this one is good. This one is not. Dr. Crotron has the eagle eye. He really does. I was about to be like, "Of course I did, Dr. Crotron." <laughs> no, no I didn't. No. No. And these dirty. Yeah, you gotta have you gotta have cotton swabs with an adequate amount of cotton to, like, grab it in the cotton. You can't just like have it be a wash in acetone because it just leaves residue all over. Like, you need to have the cotton to grab it. All right, I think that's as good as we're getting. <laughs> this one popped without my supervision might need to do a little polish surgery there let's press this one flat I see you there yeah I think uh Let's. I don't think I even need a brush. Let's just use the orange stick. <laughs> nice. Congratulations, Amethyst. Okay, we're just gonna. Like that. All right, a couple more. Like you see, yeah, see that bubble. Sometimes they're stubborn. You don't want to, like, be aggressive with them. You don't want to poke a hole in the marble trying to smooth out the bubbles. You just want to smooth out the bubbles as best as you can. And sometimes you can still, like, see, like, where they were. I mean, you can still see where it was there, but you could see that it's flatter now. Like, if I give you guys... I should have given you a profile shot before. Where's another one? Like here, see those little craters? Well, they're not craters. What's the opposite of a crater? Um, fuck. What's the op a mound? Smaller than a mound. A molehill. No. <laughs> fuck. What is the word? What word do I need, you guys? These these little. smooth oh there's a little view from all angles to ensure that all bubbles have been popped oh yeah look at those so you just get in there and smooth them on down delicately now 
you can actually still see in this one like they left a little nub they're not fully fully flat maybe I can press them a little a little bit more the flatter the better just as a general rule <clears throat> A blip. I like blip. I like blip. That's about I did the surgery had a little a little blip. Okay. And like I said, don't like go against the design because you're basically laying like a raised area smoosh it flat if you go at like a weird angle you can make it so that the line doesn't look smooth and then it can be more obvious I mean it's it's hard to do perfectly but the goal is to make them as as least noticeable as possible within reason like we had a couple nails that didn't have any bubbles, but it wouldn't be necessarily reasonable to re-dip every finger until every finger just dipped with no bubbles. Because, man, that, that'd get old pretty quick, I think. Alright, I think... I think we're about good here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> It's Saturday, Amethyst. And you just had your wisdom teeth out. I'd, <clears throat> I'd say don't sweat it. You know what time it is. Time for sesh. Feet. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> not, not so much today. Is this... Can I maybe actually... Scoot that kind of out of frame. More out of frame. Not that out of frame. Can I... How... Well, like that. Like that. Yeah. Almost invisible on the other camera. <laughs> <clears throat> Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish off with the top coat and as usual oh you can see it there dang it i gotta keep my hand like right there okay take two you gotta be still that you guys were hiding that little spot we gotta go like that it'll be fine <clears throat> once you're done with cleanup you can finish with a top coat and as usual i'm using sesh feet was i sneaky I hope so. Mm. Top coat's actually doing lovely things for this. Can you guys see this little dried up rind of, of top coat on my brush? On the stem? This really needs to be smoothed out. And I think I've mentioned before, like if you see bubbles like still coming up like after top coat that maybe haven't popped and left like an ugly mark, but still you can like see where they are. Just another coat of top coat is fine. And we'll uh, smooth it out. This thumb is so nice and clean of a design. And then this thumb's all woogly. <gasps> Fuck! 
<laughs> no! Oh, I don't even know what to do about that. Fucking A, dude. Oh my god. <sighs> you guys. That's really. That's fucking. That's like disappointing on an exhausting level. I don't know. I, I don't know. gonna finish top coat before I have any other incidents god damn it for real like fucking for real dude oh real it was completely my own fault I'm just I'm tired and I'm clumsy which bodes so well for hollow night this evening <laughs> tired clumsy and haven't played in a week let's see what happens mm. an accent nail you heard that Wesker did you hear the invite earlier the invite to 106 with friends because ash and pancakes are doing birthday things apparently I think Yeah, but you're probably also still better than me, Dr. Crotron. Fucking A, you guys. I want to, like, beat my head against the desk. It's not the worst thing ever. I just, I don't know if I can fix this. Let's, let's start with this one. <laughs> Luke said that we're on our own because it looks like Pancakes and Ash are doing things for Ash's birthday. So I suggested 106 with friends, which is like race formatty in that we'll have adult beverages and be on a chat, but probably like not really a race because our times aren't that close to be competitive. Oh god, this is this is bad. I don't know if this is helping or not. Um Okay. Let's do like this. I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have the energy to remarble this. I just, I fucking don't. Okay, just like with a little bit of black, can I just like... <sighs> I don't like this. I don't, I don't like how this looks at all. I don't like how this looks at all. What is wrong with my surgery? What is the problem? I mean, part of it is just that, like, I can't replicate. I mean, of course, it would happen in one of the spots where we had the most bleeding, which I can't really replicate. I'm trying to, I know you guys can't see, I'm just trying to, like, camouflage it a little bit. I'm sad. This fucking pisses me off. Can I, like, mm. 
Looks like a little bit of fuzz here. Raw. I'm ignoring chat too. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make it less horrible. Less horrible? No, we'll be we'll be wait with you in voice chat, Wesker. So we'll we could we could still backseat maybe a little bit. <laughs> Plus, maybe you'll get Emery in there, and she's better at telling you when you're messing up anyway. <sighs> that orange is just so bright. Looks like fucking trash. I probably should stop fucking with it. That actually maybe helped a bit. Should I stop? Should I keep trying? I mean, it was already a messy nail. Now it just really looks fucking janky. I should probably stop. I should 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 stop. I don't want to stop. I'm trying to convince myself that I need to fucking stop. <sighs> I don't disagree with you, Dr. Crotron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, though. Okay, we need we need to wait a minute or it's just gonna like fucking smear. We need to just give it like a slightly minute more to set. I'm so mad. I mean I'm not that mad. I've got plenty of other worse shit to be mad about, but I'm just I'm disappointed. That's that's what it is. I'm disappointed. It's fucked. Like, I was happy with the manicure and then I had to go and fuck it up. Like, the water marble didn't do me wrong. Like, I, that was my fault. At least it wasn't my favorite nail. I just, I really like how thin the petals turned out. I don't know. The pinky's a little bit janky, too, honestly. The pinky looks about as good as my, okay. I'm being super overly critical now. I'm just stop. I'm just stop completely. Just glom the fuck out of this. Like literally put a drop on there and just like glom it over. Sesh feet. Just blend the fuck out of that into what was already there. Oh my god. It looks worse with sesh feet on it. No. <gasps> oh god. It looks so trashy. It's a fucking disaster you guys. I'm just gonna hang my head in shame over here. I'm and I'm not even gonna fucking <sighs> Like it looks so bad. Okay, you know what? No. Do, do, uh, I'm torn between trying more surgery, just saying fuck it and leaving it and actually taking the whole thing off and starting over. Fresh Prince, 1985. Welcome for the follow. Welcome, welcome for the follow. Thank you is actually the correct sentiment there. Uh, welcome to this 
No, the whole okay, the whole manicure is not a clusterfuck, and even most of the tutorial is fine. But like, I just think this looks just very bad. Like it's just really smeary. There. Could it be worse? Yes, of course it could be worse. But like. Is it noticeable from here? Probably not. But is it going to be noticeable from here? Probably. Well, I don't know. How, how, okay. Scale of 1 to 10. With 1 being irritating, but who cares? And 10 being, oh my god. How bad is this? Yeah, current mood absolutely just says fuck it. Three. Maybe. Maybe it's a three. Fuck. I put so much top coat on here. It's like pooling up at the side, making the whole nail look a weird shape. <sighs> hey ninja welcome to my clusterfuck I mean welcome to my stream there's like beanie hairs in here seriously I'm gonna leave it okay whatever fuck fuck it fuck it fuck it yuck it fuck it <laughs> this isn't going to stay on very long not just because of that but because overall we were not able to achieve what we achieved in our testing which was smooth beautiful intentionally bleeding gradients like even like the good nails they're not pulling this off that bugs me I mean of course it does <laughs> that's a perfect way to interrupt him ninja yeah i i okay everything's fine hmm? Hmm? conjure my inner bob ross i mean maybe i just need to conjure my inner dino and stick a five millimeter rhinestone on it <laughs> ah, it'll be fine i guess i just i'm so it looks less bad the more I look at it. I, I don't know if it's the same for you guys. It looks like something just went wonky with the water marble in the cup. The more I look at it. I, I guess it's fine. It's just, I, I hate it when it's like, that was just such a klutz moment. And it wasn't even like worthwhile. Like I was just trying to show you guys how different the thumbs were. How this one's like all nice and smooth and this one's kind of woogly and wonky. And see, you can almost see right here exactly what happened. This finger right here met this finger right here in the corner and smudged it. Right right here where there's still a little bit of polish. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> Bubble nail it. Mm. No, it's it's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. No, it actually is fine. If I say it enough times, I will believe it, right? Okay, so the plan is over the next hour for me to suck it up, record an intro and outro, eat my sub, and come back here and do 106 with friends with Luke and Dr. Crotron and Wesker. That's the plan. Mmm... Mm. I'm I'm looking for for somewhere to send you guys. <laughs> Until then. Yeah, it's exactly Dr. Crotron. It's okay. Um you Guys interested in a cosplay contest? Apparently that's what's going on at TwitchCon. I, f I would feel kind of silly hosting TwitchCon though. 
Why is it? Why aren't any of my friends streaming? So that I can host with extreme bias. <laughs> um. I thought you were supposed to be streaming some uh, some Donkey Kong racing of some sort or something, Ninja. I'm 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 blah, 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 blah. Guys want some Hollow Knight? I mean there's a couple people playing Hollow Knight. Hamstona. Um Oh, that must be tomorrow. Ra Homothony is doing Rando 2 practice because I think they're wrapping up the tournament tomorrow. Looks like Narnia is in Hall of Gods as usual. Um, otherwise, I'll probably send you guys just like to Bob Ross or something. Hmm. Hmm. Or if anybody has... Does anybody have an idea or a suggestion? Yeah, but I don't know him very well. I mean, I know him. He doesn't know me. Plus, I don't know anything about Earthbound. I don't know if any... You guys want Earthbound? I could host him, I guess. I don't know. What is this notification? Messages on old video. Um... <laughs> I, you know what, I'm having, I'm having this moment of like complete, uh, what is the word? Complete indecision. Mm. Complete indecision. I'm, blah, blah, blah. I probably just need to eat. That also probably would help things along, lovely. Oh. Um. You ever just like refresh your following page and just like hope that somebody new will show up like magically? <laughs> Stream and let somebody know which locality to call 911 if, if you pass out in Calico. <laughs> no, but seriously though, like be careful please after that sketchy food. All right, I'll send you guys over to Dr. Swolman. I'm only going to host, though, not raid, because I feel weird about raiding people that I don't really know. <laughs> um, After you ate half. I mean, generally with food poisoning, I don't think it matters the amount that you eat. Like, if you eat it, then you're just like... <laughs> Um, so yeah, it is almost exactly seven o'clock. I'm going to try to be back here in about an hour-ish. Um, yeah. And Luke and Doc and, and maybe Wesker and, and that type of stuff. And we, like I said, we don't have to like all like try to be super at the same time because it's not really a race, but you know, that's the, that's the time I'm aiming for. If you guys would like to join me, I think that would be cool. Um kind of a little bit of a low-key stream today i'm sorry that i ended it on an irritated note with this fucking stupid incident um but i do appreciate you all hanging out with me i'm glad we got to do a little bit of water marbling for the first time in a couple months thank you so much calico i'm glad you guys enjoyed it the the point is fun the point is entertainment and i had fun and you guys i hope had fun and i hope you were entertained and that's why you hung out not just to watch the fails um, you know, I'm tempted to, except I don't want to. I already had decided I didn't want to. <laughs> I'm tempted to, though. Yeah, just have that be. Just bling the fuck out of that, and then you won't see. What? No. What? 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 No! Ninja, that breaks my heart. That breaks my fucking heart right there for you 
that would be like like yeah like removing like I don't even know which other one you use as much as zombie <laughs> now now you and Buttspot can be friends cause you agree on that <laughs> but um yeah I already did long goodbyes once I'm gonna send you guys over to Dr. Swellman he's playing uh what is this game Earthbound um and yeah I'll be back in about an hour I hope I'll see you guys next time oops I actually pushed the button button bye everyone and of course everyone in YouTube land I hope you enjoyed the stream as well Yo. if you love nail art you can subscribe to my channel oh, my simple Thank little so pleasures and if you'd like to uh, join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. And as always, thanks for watching.